Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Advance. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a very interesting show for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel. Let me just get in, let me get into this topic. I'm not going to take much of you guys' uh, time. As you guys know, there were some very important games that took place in the NBA uh, yesterday. Uh, one of them, most importantly, was between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Golden State Warriors. Now, in that game, it was between the ninth seed Lakers and the 10th seed uh, Golden State Warriors. So it was a very, very pivotal game. But going into that game, we then discovered that Anthony Davis would not be available because of an injury that he has sustained from a previous game. Right. So it was a very, very important uh, game. So what happened during that game? The Golden State Warriors, I think, had hit the most threes in NBA history in NBA game. Like it was some crazy uh, number. Uh, and they ended up becoming victor victorious against the Lakers. So what happened? With that win, basically, they now have the same record in terms of losses. The Warriors have 35 losses and the Lakers have 35 losses, which means that the Lakers are now at risk of becoming the 10th seed, wh whereas the Warriors can now move up uh, to the ninth seed. So you saw that happen. And so what, ha what happened after that? I tuned into media to hear what people were saying. And now it seemed like I was watching Undisputed and all these other shows. And it seemed like now all of a sudden the sky is falling. Now, all of a sudden, the Lakers are in a bad spot. And as I was listening to them, I started to get annoyed because I'm like, wait, wait a minute. You guys were the ones that were running around, hyping up the Lakers, saying that they're good and this and this and this and this. And even though they were the eighth or the ninth seed uh, in the West. And now all of a sudden, they're in deep trouble and all. How could they be in deep trouble when you're telling me that they could beat any team in the Western Conference? But now all of a sudden, they lose one game and now they're in deep trouble. I'm lost. Right. I'm absolutely lost. And they're like, oh, well, LeBron was out there by himself. And when he's not on the floor, we're delayed. isn't that pretty much the case with every good team when you're not with your best player? Isn't that usually what happens? Isn't there usually a drop off when you're missing some key players on a roster? So what happened? I was watching a segment today on, on uh, ESPN First Take featuring Stephen A. Smith and Chris Mad Dog Russo. And as uh, you know, Chris Mad Dog Russo was talking. He basically told the world what they needed to hear. Like, listen, uh, the Lakers are not as good as you guys are making them seem. And you would have to be out of your mind to want the Lakers to play the, the Denver Nuggets in round one. So for those of you who didn't hear what Chris, uh, Chris had to say, take a listen to what he had to say here. And then we'll come back and give you guys our thoughts. Take a listen to that there. I uh, don't disagree with you whatsoever. Now, I will say this. Mm -hmm. If they better, they want Minnesota to win tonight. Because Minnesota's at Denver. The winner of that game is going to be the one seed. Okay. And if Denver wins, they're going to be the one seed. And if Phoenix ends up as the eight, they're going to get Denver in the first round. Phoenix. I, 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 if uh, the Warriors end right. up at eight, right. they're going to get them in the first which round. Is a, which is and not you don't good want that. You don't want that. You, you get Minnesota, you get Oklahoma City, you can live with it. That's right. You do not want Denver in that first round. That's right. So they would prefer... If None they, of them do, by the way. Nobody, no, nobody wants them in the first them. round. But you're talking about Golden State making a long run. Right. You're not talking about Phoenix making a long right. run. Right. So if you want the son, you want the Warriors to get hot, they have a puncher's chance. Yeah. I saw him Sunday night against Utah. They made a million threes. He had 30 points, Thompson, in 23 minutes. And Curry didn't even play. And as you said last night, they made 23. No, Anthony Davis didn't play. Right. So you got to keep that in mind. But if they do end up the eight and Minnesota beats Denver tonight, could Golden State beat Minnesota in the first round playoffs? Yes. yes, they could beat them. Yes. But the problem is, if Denver wins tonight, and Phoenix and uh, the Warriors are stuck in that eight nine, uh, that nine ten thing, at the best they're going to do is eight. It's eight right. And that means they're going to have to play Denver. That's right. So they need the Timberwolves for your proclamation mm -hmm. to come to fruition. Right. You need Denver out of that one seat, is what I'm trying to say. I got it. But and what, you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. But. They're only a game out of number eight. Correct. Which means that if they get that eight seed, so they, the Sacramento they can get the Saints, seventh seed. They and can get up. the seventh seed right. and then not have Denver. Well, that's Denver losers right. tonight. Right. So you heard what Chris had to say. Listen, um, people in media need to make up their mind about the Lakers. They really, really need to do it. Because every time I turn around, I'm hearing they can beat this team. They can beat that team. You see Shannon Sharp getting upset on TV. You see Nick Wright getting upset on TV. They can beat this team. You see the fans. And all of a sudden, they lose one game. And now these creators are going to start saying, oh, Darvin Ham can't coach. And all. So if Darvin Ham can't coach, why are you guys so confident? Or why were you so confident that the Lakers could go out there and beat these teams? Why? I'm, 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 unless you guys are saying that Darvin Ham is going to 
they're gonna Lakers are gonna win in spite of Darvin Ham. There's a video circulating of the Lakers just kind of walking off out of a huddle when Darvin Ham was trying to drop a play and all of that stuff. People are looking at me to read into it. I really don't care. I really don't care. But what Chris Mad Dog just said was the truth. So when you have people like uh, Nick Wright and all of these guys running around talking about, oh, the Lakers should want the Nuggets in round one. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? The Denver Nuggets are the consensus best team in the Western Conference. They are. And you think it would behoove you to play them first? Wouldn't you want to play them later? Or wouldn't you rather hope somebody else knock them off? So the team that has the greatest probability of knocking you out of the playoffs, you want to play them first. And then they can knock you out in round one and the, the, the playoffs are over. Whereas if you're playing other teams, you have a higher likelihood for them to you know, advance further in the playoffs. And Chris said it perfectly. If you're the Lakers, you want to avoid the Nuggets. You do. Everybody should want to avoid the Nuggets. You don't want to play that team first. They're the best team. And the Lakers have, 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 have shown no evidence that they have what it takes to stop that team. They're the best in the West. They're the champs. So until you knock them out, try to avoid them. You will have to face them eventually if you get that far. But this thing of now the sky is falling and, oh, the Lakers are in deep trouble. Just yesterday, y'all, they were talking about how great they were going to be. After a while, it just begins, it, it starts to get nauseating and it's annoying and I get tired of listening to it. It's like, when will it finally end? When will it end? To me, I cannot wait for the play-in tournament to start so we can be finally finished with it. Let's see what's what. If the Lakers is good or the, the Phoenix Suns or the Warriors is good as they're advertised, we shall see in the play-in. But all of this stuff of switching up sides and saying this and one day and in a the minute they lose one game, the sky is fun. Like, yo, like, come on, like, enough is enough. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.